elementary school, I was back uh, in my hometown, Iraq, uh, northern Iraq. It was a town of uh, approximately um, 6,000 people, and almost everyone knew each other. Um, it was just uh, great. I mean, uh, I speak Kurdish, and my people are uh, Kurdish Yazidis. 2012 uh, was uh, summer, uh, July, I remember um, coming here. Um, saw my brother, who, who actually lived here for five years, and so he came before us. He, he, he was in the U.S. Army, and then he did the paperwork for us, and so we came. Um, after he was settled here for five years. I started going to middle school when I was in uh, northern Iraq, but then I came here, I started going to uh, school starting eighth grade year. It was, honestly, it was stressful uh, the first couple months. Uh, I just listened to music and just kind of uh, uh, go to my room and just kind of think about my friends, my family that I've left. Um, it changed. It changed my life. The first activities I got involved in was when I first got here. I just not right throw myself right into it because I really enjoy um, uh, sports. I did um, flag football. I did basketball and I did track back in school. Even I couldn't speak the language. I just uh, <laughs> tried, and then came into North Star because uh, my brother uh, went to North Star too, and he graduated last year, and he did soccer, and so. Um, soccer was a big sport in my town and coming here I really um, enjoyed watching my brother play so I just uh, started um, getting involved into um, our soccer program here and so after two years when I was a junior um, I started doing cross country too and that was a big success too. There's, there's, yeah, there's, uh, we just, uh, I mean North Star uh, has so much diversity and we from seven, I mean we had a lot of other kids from different countries I was one of them basically seven different countries uh, coming together. Um, it was just uh, really enjoyable. I mean, we knew we are th from different parts of the world coming together as one big team and make, uh, doing big things um, for North Star. Just felt great, you know? And we kept um, thriving and pushing ourselves through every game, um, every practice, just to um, make sure that North Star soccer is not just about a sport, it's about diversity for this school and about um, more basically like um, people coming from different um, parts of the world becoming united. I want to go to college, uh, UNL here, um, study business management because um, uh, I really um, enjoy um, business kind of dealing with uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to, my sister has her own shop and uh, uh, look into her. I think that's super cool to have your own uh, business and kind of run it. I think I think my brother was a really uh, smart guy who knew what he was doing, and I think um, my education in my family is a really big thing. But back in Iraq, it was not. It was not. The schools were not as uh, helpful as in the United States, and so I think I have a, a, a advantage. A more bigger advantage than he had. Um, so I think I'll, I'll be able to make it to like more than what he's done. I mean, he just, he couldn't finish his, his education back at home. Um, I think I'll be able to do that and um, just uh, make him proud because I look into him and he, he know I can do big things in life. And so, yeah, I'll make him proud one day. I went to school and I, I did not, I mean, that was my first year and I, it was kind of, um, I was kind of backing up. I was like, oh, North Star's going to be um, kind of a big place. I won't be able to fit in, you know, I can't speak the language. Um, it's kind of, I don't have friends, but I think it's going to be the same experience going into college from, so basically kind of from school to North Star was just, uh, uh, I, I had some nerves, but I overcame uh, um, the nerves and I think, you uh, I'll be fine going to college and it's just going to be another challenge in life and I'll overcome it.